Okay, so I'm looking to make a, an air bar for a pond. I'm not paying £200 for one, £100 a metre. So I bought this aeration hose from Quinny Croy, £3.95 a metre, two metres of that, and some 3.4mm, 316 marine grade stainless steel bar. Was 10 quid for two meters. Just trim that down a little bit to size to allow for the connectors to go in. That's these polypropylene 12 millimeter by 8 millimeter connectors. That will go in the ends after I've threaded the bar into the hose. add weight hopefully enough to make the hose sink and to hold it nice and straight in the water and then I'll use the airline hose and connect it both ends so that you get a spread of air otherwise all the air will come out of mainly one end and not so much out of the other and I'll connect these up into the end Put a little bit of glue on there to hold them in place, might not, see how it goes. And connect them up with some 12mm by 8mm Koi Flex air hose on that. And then use the hose to suspend it in the water about a foot or so down under the water. So there's the two ends, just pushed in for now. And we can test it out and see how it performs. Connect that up some tube, drop it in the pond and see how we go. That seems to hold it straight enough and with the weight of water holding that it should stay pretty straight. So that works out. Quite tough for that. That's working quite well for the first go. The 6.4 stainless is easy enough to sink it. And still allow the air to move all the way down the tube. I'm very happy with that. Just need to set it up permanently now. Put a connection up, hook inside the inside of this with a stainless steel hook to hold the airline there. Clip it along the under edge of the coping stones and then take it out through my loose skimmer. Port. Turn off the air to the moving bed and see how much air that puts through it. And from that up full, close that off. Moving bed stop moving. How much air does that truck out with an ET80 throwing everything down it? Oh, quite a bit more. Probably worth getting an ET40 or something to run the moving bed and having the ET80 just running this air bar. That's the air bar running off a Charles Austin ET80 that's also feeding a K1 micro moving bed. Decent amount of air from that. You can turn it up more where I need another pump to run my moving bed where it's all running off one at the minute.
these fittings are available on eBay. I'll put some links to them in the description for this and for the aeration hose that Quinnico is selling. That's really good. I'll order some new hair, hair hose now so I've got enough to reach, run through my duct. I'll run the air hose through there underneath my skimmer cover coping stone and just sneak it around the edge underneath the edge of the coping stones so you don't see the pipe work. The correct type of aeration hose to get is this with the blue line on it. Um, you can get some other types that are made for irrigation and things like that but they tend to use recycled rubber so I'm not sure I kind of want to risk it in my koi pond whereas this is the proper stuff probably made using fresh virgin rubber rather than recycled rubber but it's cheap enough from Quinny, £3.95 a metre I bought three, didn't know whether I was going to run down the length of the pond or just the end I think I prefer it just at the end of the pond I might get into the air pump to run that so I can turn it on and off, but I'll see how it goes for now. Also, a metre piece left. If you've got something you can bend to fit it, let me just put the camera down. You can get these 12mm ends, 8mm centres, T's. You can make a, a circular rater. Just need something to weight it down or a bottom drain to clip it to. Or get some of the 316 marine grade stainless steel bent into a circle. It's quite reasonable to bend. And then thread it round, just keeping it an inch or so back from where the T's are so the air can get through, like I've done on the long one. And then you've got a circularator as well. £3.95 for a bit of that. A metre of stainless would probably be a fiver. And I think these T's are about a quid or two. Certainly a lot cheaper than they are in the shops.